So you got yourself a brand new Google TV device or an Android TV device, and you're looking for a free mouse toggle that will allow you to use applications that are typically designed for a touch screen all from your remote control. Now, as you can see, I'm on my on 4K streaming box, which runs Android TV 12. On my device, I long press one button. I now see a virtual mouse. I can move around. I can go through the edges. If I want to scroll, I press another button. I can now easy scroll down. I can scroll back up. And if I want to click on something, I can click on free text video here. One click. And I get that complete ability to click, to scroll, to move around. All of that virtual mouse functionality I can do directly from my remote control. So in this video today, let me show you how you can get a fully working virtual mouse for all of your Google TV devices, for all of your Android TV devices, absolutely free. All you need to do is just hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so to begin the process on your Google TV or your Android TV device, the first thing we need to do is to enable those developer options. And through these developer options, we can then enable ADB debugging, which is a key requirement for this special version of mouse toggle. So let's do that now. I'm gonna head over to the settings. Let's click on that. I'm now gonna go down to where it says system. Let's click on that, click on about, scroll down and where you see the build number, if you now press the select button seven times, eventually you'll see a message saying that you're now a developer. On my device, I've already done that. We can see it's now enabled. I can now press back, scroll down. Now we can see inside system, I have this new developer options menu. And as I always say, if you don't know what you're doing, then do not really mess about with the settings in here because they can potentially cause catastrophic effects to your device. So only enable the things or disable the things as mentioned in this video. So I'm now gonna click on developer options, scroll down, and here we can see where it says USB debugging. I'm just gonna turn that on. Once you've done that, you've now completed this part and we now need to open up downloader. Let's press the home button. Let's now open that up. And we can now make a connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com, or you can always type in the short code, which is 53402. Let's type that in, 02, and this will take you directly to my website. And we can now download this special version of Mouse Toggle, which was created by Viresh, which uses ADB, to, which overcomes that limitation where you can't actually select something with a virtual cursor. And a lot of you did try to install the previous version of Mouse Toggle, and although that does allow you to see the virtual mouse, you can't actually select anything with that particular version. Whereas with this custom version I'm going to show you today, you'll be able to select everything, you'll be able to scroll around and pretty much use a fully functioning virtual mouse on all of your Google TV or Android TV devices. Okay, I can now go over to the hamburger menu. Let's click on that. Click on tutorials and the latest tutorial in the list will be how you can get this custom version of this mouse toggle ADB edition. Let's open that up. Here we are, so working mouse toggle for all of your Google TV and Android TV devices. We can scroll down. We have the step-by-step -step instructions. I will show you how you can fully customize the virtual mouse. You can change the cursor. You can change the speed. You can change if the mouse uh, respects the borders or if it goes through the borders. So, which I do actually find quite handy when you're trying to move around quickly because you can quickly navigate through the edges or the top and bottom to quickly get to where you need to. Scroll down and with all of that, we'll have the link to this special version. Here we are. Let's click on that now. I can then scroll down and let's click on this green download button. And this will download the custom version to our device. I can click on install and then I'll show you exactly how we can configure this. Uh, let's decline that. Don't care about that. 
give that a second that's now installed i can now click on open and we can go ahead and start configuring this so the first thing you will see that there's quite a few things at the top telling you about the service status because the application does require certain permissions accessibility permissions and overlay permissions none of them which are granted automatically so let's fix that first so if i click on setup permissions let's click on that okay so allow the display over other apps because for the virtual mouse to appear it has to have the permission to draw itself over other applications on the screen so i'm going to scroll down and enable this here so mouse toggle for android tv let's click on that that's now done let's now press back now we need to give it the accessibility permission so keep scrolling down and we can now see we have the mouse toggle service i can click on that click on enable click on ok that's now done when i now press back back again we are now back inside mouse toggle and we can see all of those permissions have now correctly been granted now really we can just go through the quick configuration here for example you can choose the mouse size you can choose the speed now for the icon i like to change mine to uh let's go for let's go for the hand that's done now the bordered window basically means if i enable this it means you won't be able to go through the edges but let's leave that off let's keep scrolling down now the next thing i like to change is the actual key now now depending on your device you'll have to nominate a certain button which when you press and hold it it will then activate the virtual mouse so it actually works in three stages so you press and hold it once activates the virtual mouse you press it again quickly it then enables the scrolling mode and if you long press it it then disables the mouse mode if you quickly press it whilst the scrolling mode is enabled it then goes back into normal mouse mode so that's basically the different options you have when you nominate this button so on my device i'm using the on 4k uh, streaming box and i'm going to nominate the settings button which is this one here on the top right so the way we nominate the button is you click on detect now asks you press and hold the key for three seconds so let's long press the settings button so one two three we can ignore that pop up let's press back it says did you want to set the 83 as the boss key so let's say yes that's now done i can now click on save that's pretty much it guys so now when i long press this button here the settings button and that then activates the virtual mouse and we can see now when i press up it goes up down left right and now it should go through the sides now this is the key thing now so how do we actually get the ability to click on some things because that was one of the limitations with the latest android i think 12 definitely on 13 and higher where you just can't click on anything but we can see on my device if i go to somewhere where i can click like one of these um check boxes and when I try and click on that, I'm hoping to see the ADB pop up. Let's press select. And there it is, guys. So now this is realized that we are using ADB for this functionality. So all I need to do now is firstly, long press this, let go. I can now press back. And here is where I want to select always allow from this computer. Click on allow. And that's it guys so now when i enable the virtual mouse so long press my settings key brings up the virtual mouse now i can move around and now when i try to click on something it shouldn't prompt me again because it's basically saved that adb preference so i can now click on things unclick things i can go back here click on save that's now saved i can press the home key now, for example, I've got the virtual cursor still working. Let's say I want to scroll because I want to scroll further down because right now, if I go down, it will just go through the screen and come from the top. So if I want to enable that scroll mode, I just tap the settings key once. So tap it says that scroll mode is now enabled. So when I press up and down, it actually simulate scrolling, guys. So you really do have complete functionality of a virtual mouse. I can scroll down. I can scroll back up. If I want to go back to selecting something, press the settings key again, one click, it says scroll mode is enabled, which means we're back into mouse mode. And I can now, for example, click on uh, equalizer 
and if you take me into there and it's done exactly that so that is basically how you get a fully working fully functioning virtual mouse on your google tv devices on your android tv devices absolutely free and you really can go ahead and get that complete functionality on all of those devices so really appreciate your support do like and share this video and i'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon thanks